Yo, good morning, everybody. Welcome back. A little response to a shorts that I uploaded that's getting some momentum. So I kind of wanted to talk about it in this video. Um, yeah, look, I'm not, <laughs> I'm not going to entertain uh, like all the negativity from some comments on there. A lot, you know, there were very little. There, most of the comments on there were just people just generally stating their opinions and why they do what the question was in that video, which is why do Google a Google Pixel phone. Now, privacy is the main thing, right? So for all the people that responded back, that was their main thing. Was they wanted the privacy. And, you know, people will say iPhones is the most secure phone out there. I, mean, I don't know. What I do know is that you can't flash uh, custom software onto an iPhone, right? It's so locked down. So, you know, Pixel being the one that's got, you know, it's easy to unlock the bootloader. It's easy to install custom software. Trust me, I've done it. Evolution X. Um, so, yeah, privacy and security. You know, there's other options out there than having to flash your phone. And the reason why has nothing to do with the fact that I'm against Graphene OS. I'm not. But the reason that I did that video was to get a lot of people's, like, full-blown emotions to come out. Because I've stumbled across people who will quote unquote they'll flash your pixel for you if you don't know how to do it and install graphene os for you so then that way you can run graphene os on your pixel they charge a crazy amount of money to do it and the and the requirements is even more sketchy the requirements for doing this is that you wipe your phone if you don't live locally to them you wipe your phone and then you send it to them they will flash the software onto your Pixel, and they'll send it back to you. But here's the problem. If you buy a Pixel 9 Pro XL for $1,200, right? You go with the highest storage option, and you want Graphene OS on it. Answer me this now. Are you going to wipe your phone and send it to people that you don't even know who they are and allow them to flash the software on there? What? makes you think you get the phone back see that's the thing there are some people trust me don't go don't don't get unhinged i know that there's some group of people who are genuinely honest and they're like hey we wouldn't do that to people we really want to help them and i get you guys it's cool it's cool that you're doing that but there are a lot of people that are not they're not so genuine they'll piggyback off that they'll use that as a way to collect a bunch of pixels right You'll have like a bunch of emails to show, to prove that you sent your pixel to somebody who's going to flash Graphene OS. And those emails may be dead emails, traced back to nothing. So you get nothing back. Your phone is gone, stolen. Okay, there are people who do that. Like today in this world today, there's not a lot of honest people anymore. So it's very hard to trust people. So when you have somebody who's going to prey upon people who want Graphene OS installed on their pixel and say, hey, I'll do it for you, you know, you're gonna pay you're gonna pay them X amount of dollars plus send you know your pixel phone to them wiped, no Google account on it, and you're gonna send it to them. You may never see that phone again. So why do it? See, that's the point that I'm saying. There are other options out there if you are if you're more you know about security, privacy, and all that. There's there's other things you can do. First of all, if you're on social media, there's no such thing as privacy, right? So even meta. Is spyware, TikTok, all that spyware. So if you're going to say security, then get off all that stuff. Now, away from that, there are other options you could do. Dumb phones are the range, or like the rage. And, and I don't mean this because it's for dumb people. That's not what a dumb phone is. A dumb phone is, a, is an old school cell phone, basically. So you can get like a flip phone, put a SIM card inside of it. There you go. You have calls and text. You can drop your plan down to a lower plan because you won't need a lot of data because you're just doing calls and text. But what if you want a corded keyboard? That's great. But there are feature phones, right? Like the LG Rumor Touch, the Samsung Rant. You, know, you can even get a BlackBerry. Okay, yes, BlackBerry services are no longer working. So BBM or BlackBerry Messenger and all that stuff is not going to be working on it. But calls and text will. So you'll be able to text with a QWERTY keyboard. As I'm saying, there's other options. You don't have to always just go with Graphene OS. While it is a great software, and it is centered around 
privacy and security. And even the coolest thing is that you can still install Google services on Graphene OS. It's sandboxed, so it doesn't communicate or play with other apps that's installed on your on your Pixel running Graphene. If you know what you're doing and you're a tech nerd, yeah, you'll be able to achieve that. But for those people who aren't familiar with how to flash custom software onto a smartphone, how to unlock a, blo- a bootloader, don't worry about it. I would say just go get a dumb phone. They're they're cool. I mean, I was around during the days of Nokia's and flashing batteries and all that other stuff. Like not flashing, like putting software, but like you know the LED lights. Um, I've been through the stages of cellular phones, and I think they're cool. Even this Light Phone Three. Go Google it. The Light Phone Three. It's like basic, but it's cool. It's like if someone took a Pebble smartwatch. And turned it into a smartphone. You get your basic calls and texts. You get notes to jot down notes. Full QWERTY keyboard touchscreen. Uh, you got turn-by-turn navigation and, uh, you know, GPS mapping. Uh, you got calendar. You got the basic stuff that you would get in a, in a, in a basic cell phone. It's just, you know, in a nice little square package with a screen. Selfie cam and main camera sensor to take pictures and oh you're golden see there's other options out there than just graphene os so that's just the point i'm pointing out anyways thanks for checking out this uh response to that go check out that shorts if you want to know exactly what i'm talking about and yeah i'll talk to y'all later